What's up, Fox Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Fox Plays. We host Fox, aka Alex, back to Juno's adventure. Now, on our first episode, we went to this door here, and this is the next door. Oh, okay, so this is like a hub world, kind of like Banjo Kazooie. Got it. All right. Shit, this. I don't know. I got a feeling this is one. Of... I got a feeling this is one of those games where I'm actually gonna to want to get 100. percent And I just got a freaking. All right, coconuts. Oh. All right. Oh shit! I didn't get to read the sign. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This level design, <clears throat> for those who actually are into game design and whatnot, it's actually really, really cool level design. Oh, fuck, dude. What? So am I not allowed? To what the fuck? I gotta run. What the fuck was that? I was so confused. So not only is this game got non-linear level design, you can't fight back as well. So it makes it pretty tough. I found one of those secret orbs. And I noticed when I was editing my last video as well. Oh fuck, not the shark, not the shark, not the sh Fuck this shark. This shark is one of the worst enemies. Look, it's the year. This is the year 2016, this is like, we're almost Christmas. And I think I found the worst enemy I've ever encountered in a game. <laughs> oh fuck. This game's- yeah, I wanna keep dreaming. Okay, I'm gonna just learn how to speedrun this game. And there's a shark that is waiting for me already. Oh my god, get, just get away from me. Seriously, every enemy in this game is just like brutal. They're just like, not nah, you. You want to finish this game? Like over my dead body, you're gonna finish this game. All right. But yeah, as I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted. I um, I was watching my. Oh, oh great. I was watching my previous video, like as I was editing it, and I noticed there's like all these secret bits I miss. I'm like, shit, man, like. This is, a, this is this is gonna be one of those games that seems simple at first, but there's actually a lot more to it. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to exploring it a bit more. Oh, I just found a secret orb then. Fuck. So I don't know if like levels got multiple paths, multiple bosses, multiple secret areas. So I don't know, man. It's a really cool level design. Oh, fuck. Just get in the door. In the door. In the door. What do we got here? Path to the marshes. I got a pirate hat. I guess I better go to the pirate harbor. Okay. Okay, one more last jump. I can't make that jump. So let's at least that narrows it down. But anyway, guys, I just want to know. I hope you guys have done your Christmas shopping. If you haven't, look, look, I really appreciate you watching my videos, and you know I want to be number one YouTuber in the world. But you should do your Christmas shopping. So pause the video right now, do your Christmas shopping, and come back. I'll oh, fuck that shark. That shark. Has already done his Christmas shopping. He's ready for next year. He's a dick. I fucking hate that. Fuck off. Dude, this shark is a piece of sh Okay, there's a switch there. And there's boulders there as well. Oh, God damn it. There's just obstacle. But yeah, look. I'm really... I'm actually enjoying this game. It's just nice to play a game that... That non-linear level design... So you just gotta think a little bit more, you gotta be a bit more... You gotta be a little bit more, like, creative and just think, and just remember. Because there's not many games that do it, and there's not many games that do it well. Hit another switch, alright, cool. So hopefully that leads me to my next area, and possibly my next boss guy. Ah, okay, I see what I unlocked. Sweet. 
Sweet, look at that. Okay, here we go. Of bogs and thorns. Man, it's just, to tell you the truth, it's just nice to play another... Oh, shit. Alright. It's just nice to play another Game Boy game. Because, yeah, look, I, 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 I touched on it briefly, but... I don't know, something about the Game Boy, I find it really... Alright, the cool thing about indie games, right, is that you're making a game and you're kind of putting a limitation on the design because your limitation is budget, right? When you make an indie game, you usually have a small budget and, I don't know, using someone's game engine or whatever. So, you know, you're limited by your own creativity, so you've got to put a lot of effort in to make sure that your game's cool. And that's kind of like why I like the Game Boy, is that when the Game Boy was out, right, you've got, you had the Super Nintendo, Game Boy came out when Nintendo was out. You had the Nintendo and then you had the game, uh, Super Nintendo. But, you know, people still made the Game Boy because, you know, we got a... Because they just wanted, you know, a new market. Portable, portable gaming market. But the challenge of making game when the Game Boy was, you're using a limited, weak console that's just... But, you know, that's just, you know, obviously inferior to the Super Nintendo. So a lot of Game Boy games, they had to... I guess be really, like, I guess, excellent in their design, like, make sure the game is super fun. Like, for example... So many secrets. Okay, I can't jump on it. So, for example, like, Batman on Nintendo, made by Sunsoft, that company also made a Batman on... Oh my god, I made it, thank fuck. Oh, there's an owl here. These guys are friends. Who? It's it's sentence me to find you. Press down to hide in a bush. That's cool. Don't move when they're watching. Okay. So there's just so many areas to explore. Okay. It. Okay, you just teleport. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I got it. So just press it once. Got it. Oh, god damn it. A freaking stealth section on a Game Boy game. How often do you see stealth sections in Game Boy games? So I was, I had a point, and then I just, you guys, as you guys know, if you if you're new to this channel, I have a habit of talking about a cool point and then I just forget. Sorry, I'm just getting a little bit anxious. Hold up. So, when you make a Game Boy game... Oh, fuck off. When you make a Game Boy game, you have to... You have to understand the limitation and build a game about it. Game around that limitation and make it fun. So, in a way... Like, one of my... I'll give you an example. One of my most favorite games, right? On Game Boy Color was Metal Gear Solid. Now, Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation... We can, if you haven't played it, it's, let's just say it's a, a masterpiece is, I'd say it's a masterpiece, it's pretty damn good, like, I don't, like, but I can't fault that game, because, like, even the cinematics in that game, like, I know Metal Gear Solid's got a lot of cinematics and talking in that, but I find that with Metal Gear Solid in that game, the talking had a, not a purpose, but I guess it was just more interesting, because sometimes Metal Gear Solid 2, the dialogue's a bit off, and, Number four as well, some people find it a bit disappointing. Dude, fuck. This is actual tough. What am I meant to do? I'm meant to just book it. Book. Oh my god. This stealth section is so long! But yeah, look, they made 
You might not know this, but there is a Metal Gear Solid on Game Boy Color. And it's fucking good. Now, it's not... It's not based on Metal Gear Solid... I'm gonna scratch my nose, man. My nose is so itchy. Most disgusting is Let's Play ever. Fucking scratches his nose on camera. But the Metal Gear Solid on Game Boy Color had really cool boss fights. Like, I'm talking about really good boss fights. Yeah, we did it. This song, this song is actually really long. I'm actually really impressed. A lot of um games for this console generation, they not console generation, indie games, the loop's very short. Okay, not meant to go that way. Got it. Down? Down some more? Oh, anyway, Metal Gear Solid on Game Boy Color. That, because like, like I said, it's on Game Boy. It's got Game Boy Color actually, so it has a lot of limitations. You know, that game's in 3D, but somehow they made that game work. And honestly, if you haven't played it and you call yourself a Metal Gear Solid fan, spare yourself. You're not a Metal Gear Solid fan. Seriously, play it. It is so good. And it's basically set, it's st so number one and two still happen, Metal Gear 1 and 2, when Snake's in um, Zanzibar. Shit. Where do you go? Give me a sec guys, I gotta find where I gotta go. Oh my god. You have to lure this motherfucker from top of the screen all the way down here to shoot through the rocks. Fuck man, that's puzzle solving right there. Okay, this game does not fuck around. Oh, here we go, finally the boss. Anyway, speaking of boss guys. Alright, let's just stop quickly. Actually, no, fuck it. Let's fight and talk at the same time, and I'll vanquish the knight. Alright, Metal Gear Solid. Do you remember the final boss, or well, second last boss, technically? Metal Gear Rex. Alright, Metal Gear Rex. You fight in this giant fucking walking bipedal tank with a railgun and nuclear armament, and you're using the Stinger missile in first person. To shoot this dude. Fuck, this is tough. Hmm. And you're wondering, like, how do they do it on Game Boy Color? Like, how do you make an exciting final boss fight? And basically, the final boss in Metal Gear Solid, besides the the sick commander, whatever his name is. You gotta fight Metal Gear Gander, who looks completely different to Rex as well. He looks so he looks so badass, by the way. Like I love that final boss. Oh my god, it's so hard to get out of this mud. Oh, okay, I've gotta dodge that giant. This is gonna be a shit boss fight. Metal Gear Gander. Sorry, let me continue my story. Metal Gear Gander. The fight starts off with you running down a hallway. And he's trying to stomp you. And you're wondering, well, how do you fight him? Like, do you sting him missiles? No. He's trying to stomp you. You're Solid Snake, man. You're resourceful. You put landmines where he's stomping so his fucking feet blow up. And eventually his feet blow up, right? And after his feet blows up, it's just his torso just standing there. And you gotta fire your Nikita missile. Because there's no stinger missile in that game. And you gotta blow up all the weak points. So that weapon, the Nikita missile, which wasn't that useful in the original Metal Gear Solid games, is actually really useful on Game Boy Color. It's so cool. Like, I can't believe they even thought of that. I absolutely adore that game. It's one of the best Game Boy Color games I've played. Okay, I know how to kill him. But, man, this is gonna be tough. This is basically bullet hell. Minus the bullets, just the hell bit. I think I got that. I think I've got the pattern. I found a pattern. Oh my god, this is actually easy now. Okay, I got one of them. Get up. 
Okay, let's see if it works the opposite way. I reckon it does. I don't miss the thing I So if you stand right on the edge, it bounces always to the right. So you've only got to dodge it once. Okay, hopefully this is it. I'm not sure what to do about those flies. I can't fuck working that up. Okay, drop your big boy. Drop the big boy. Drop the big boy. Fuck out, get the fuck out! Oh shit! Hey, cool! I've rescued new character, Stones. Well, I didn't expect you to rescue me. What took you so long? Hey, yeah, why so rude? <laughs> Enough. We need to find the others. Do you know where they are? Stones. I heard Julie was taken to a gentleman's lounge. We must find a way to enter. Fellas is somewhere in the mountains. Come on, let's get them out of there. Stones can crush brutal rocks under his weight. However, he can't jump very high. Oh, okay, cool. So you gotta really go back and remember the levels. Because I actually don't remember any little brutal rocks that I, I could jump on. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to watch the replay, honestly. Thanks so much for sticking around. Sorry I couldn't finish my Game Boy Color story about how much I love the Game Boy, the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and especially the Game Boy Advance as well. If you love the video, give it a like, give it a share as always, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and guys, I'll see you in the next episode. You know I love you, you know I appreciate you, peace out.